Hey guys, this is day two of the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. Roman is behind the camera. Hey guys, and we are doing another great video where we're gonna profile two trucks that sort of kind of directly compete. So what are we profiling and what are we comparing, Andre? Well, this is the state of off-road pickup trucks. I wanna do at least two, maybe three trucks, Chevrolet versus Ford. And we're standing here next to this Duramax powered three liter Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2. This is a truck that I think many of you have been dreaming about because it combines diesel power and off-road capability all in one. Is there anything that competes against this? Because as far as I'm aware, Ford doesn't do a full-size diesel, Andre. No, they don't have an F-150 diesel anymore, but I wanna show you one in this video that I think competes directly against us. So what are we gonna compare it to? we're going to compare it against an F-150 Tremor ah. because even though this is kind of the top of Chevrolet's range, it's a still, in my opinion, not a Raptor fighter. All right, well, let's talk about the ZR2 with the Duramax. We just had it at the office. Uh, and if you want to go see all of our coverage from the Chicago Auto Show, head on over to all TFL because we're posting these videos to many of our channels. Uh, basically, we're doing this one on truck because it's a truck. Well, we love trucks and we know you love pickup trucks as well. So the big deal about this is because before, you know, we used to own a 2022 ZR2 Silverado 1500, but that had a big 6.2 liter V8. This more range, right? You could drive at least 500 miles in kind of daily driving because you have a efficient and powerful turbo diesel under the hood. Maybe we should pop the hood and show that as well. Yeah, I'll pop the hood. There you go, go for it. It's the latest three liter, which means just over 300 horsepower and almost 500 pound-feet of torque. Don't mind this wiring, it's just wired for the show, but this is a straight six turbo diesel. And this is the only one standing because Ram discontinued their three liter V6 diesel. Ford discontinued their three liter V6 diesel. This is the last one, and I think the best one. All right, well, let's show them what makes it so off-road worthy. Obviously, you've got these recovery hooks right here. You've got, yeah, look at that, real metal. You wanna, you're the man to go underneath it. Why don't you show them underneath, and we'll show them what this has uh, in terms of off-roadiness. Yeah, and tires are very important, right? So Territory MT tires. These are basically 33s, 275, 70 R18s, blacked out wheels. Um, and also, you can kind of tell well, first of all, front locking differential, rear locking differential, not a lot of skid plates. Roman, if you wanted skid plates, you would buy a Bison version of this. Which is even more expensive. Yes, so Bison version adds about $9,000 to the price. Check out the price here. So as it sets, $74,605. I know I said we've been dreaming about this truck, but dreams cost money, right? Yes, and the thing is, look, this is the top dog Chevy full-size off-roader. Yeah. Yes, there's a Bison, but it doesn't give you any more power. Chevy doesn't build- Or bigger tires. Or bigger tires. It doesn't really build a Raptor competitor. But if you look in here, like you said, Andre, it's got all the off-road goodies. Because if I show you guys the little- They're kind of up above. Uh oh. No, oh, no, no, right the, below the screen. Where are the lockers? Here, why don't you show them? I just lost them. Well, it's a little dark in here, but yeah. here's the front, the rear locker, and both right there. So that's a huge feature. And this truck has a brake controller, so it's a, it's a proper pickup truck, so it can do everything. It will tow a bit. It go, has great off-road capability. Do you know a number? I think, I'm gonna say I think it's around 8,000. 8,000 so. pounds. My only criticism is the seats are a little firm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're a little, you know, these bolsters are a little short. Uh, for somebody who's tallish and the seats are a little firm. We had the Trail Boss version of this and it was kind of the Swiss Army knife of trucks. I really liked it. Well, uh, at least the sticker says about 8,700 pounds of towing. Okay, so you were close. Um, and then What's here, the 1,458. 1, all right. So still pretty good payload for an off-road truck. All right, well, for all of you uh, Ford fans, shall we head on over to the Ford booth and compare? Yes. And remember the price because this was about 74. Yep. Now well, let's slap, snap our fingers and go towards the F-150. Okay, here we go. Bam. Roman, check this out. 
It's got a wind chandre. Yes, so what this is, is the updated 2024 Ford F-150 Tremor. So they redesigned the front end, um, grill is different. What do you think about this front end for the new one? Ah, you know. Uh, what? Uh, it's kind of become roly-poly. I don't know. I used to like the C-clamp a lot better. I, I, I don't like this like line across the front. It's just it's just it's just uh, kind of weak sauce, Andre. Weak right. sauce. What? Well, let us know what you think. But I think what's not weak sauce, Roman, is this bumper. Look, um, they have a new modular bumper, which is an option, and it could be integrated with this. A giant worn winch sitting on the nose of this truck. You know, I think the Tremor in general is a sweet spot when it comes to off-road uh, Ford trucks because you get like 90% of the off-road ability of a Raptor without having all of the, not just price, but kind of that the, the reputation of the Raptor, you know, kind of, there's a little bit of a connotation to Raptor drivers. Sure, but I, I, I'm bringing this up into this video because a couple of reasons. First of all, it's brand new updated. It's going to go on sale, well, in a couple of months. Uh, second of all, it's the price, right? It starts at about 64,000 bucks. And you could get two engine options, a V8 or a twin turbo V6 EcoBoost. So let me try to pop the hood, see if we can get this at the show. I, I like the white actually. I've become, I've become a white truck guy over the years. No, I don't know why. The, the hood is not opening uh, on this show truck. Well, what's, what, what's this one got, does it say? Do we know? We can look at the exhaust. It, it, it doesn't matter because they have dual exhaust no matter what. But five liter Coyote is a starting engine, yeah. base engine. And for about two, 300 bucks, you can get it as an EcoBoost. But why do that when you can get a Coyote, right? So this is the way I would configure it. I would get it with a V8. And of course, tires are a big deal for this one as well. Yeah, These are general grabbers. They're very off-roady. Um, yeah, I don't know, Colorado, high altitude. I kind of am partial in turbos, Andre. What about the sound of the V8? Oh, this look, is a new feature. You've got a tiny, Tiny door. <laughs> Do you like that? No, it's silly. What's the tiny door for? It's a brand new uh, tailgate. Wait, wait. So Ram did this like three quarter inch barn door. Um, yeah, Ram did 60 40 split. Does the whole thing open or is it just tiny? No, it does it's this. It's just tiny? Yes. Oh, it's the silly, silliest <laughs> thing I've seen. Come on, Ford. You're, <laughs> you're, 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 you've taken the tailgate wars one step too far. No. Look, it has different opening heights. So if there is a trailer here, um, you can do this. You know who does you can it do best. This. You know who does it best, Andre? Who? GM? No, Honda. Where you could go, you can go, you know, like that, <laughs> and all the way, or, or all the like way that. open. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That, that is the this tiny door thing. I'm sure there's a video showing how great this is. But so you're not in love with this? No, no, I don't like the tiny door. So it starts at sixty-four thousand, but very quickly with options, uh, the premium package on the Tremor goes to seventy four thousand dollars so it's basically matches the price of that zr2 diesel we saw or the truck we're going to see next because we are going to show you a third truck in this video let me show you the interior before uh, we walk away from this truck you want to take the camera and kind of get a yeah. tour of it so they have the, this code orange uh, right orange color throughout and so this is a traditional ford interior that's been around for what last several years since 2021 they have digital screens, 12-inch display here, 12-inch display here. You have a rear locker. You have four auto, like the GM truck, so automatic mode Love for, that. Love that. for the four-wheel drive system. Yep. The tires are 33s, and each one of these manufacturers is using a different tire manufacturer as well. So it just kind of depends which tire you like best. I really like the Goodyear's. 77? This is the Raptor price. Yep. Like I said, Tremor starts at 64. Yeah, so a little bit under. And 74 with options. And the winch is extra. So if you were going to get the winch, you could be pushing 80,000 bucks for one of these. And before you guys say trucks are too expensive, we hear it, we know it. We have a video over at All TFL coming soon where Andre and I do a walk around of the Chicago Auto Show and look at all the bargain trucks versus the budget busters. But before we do that, Andre, before we publish that, should I snap my fingers and shall we head it over to the Tundra? Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, we decided to throw in one more truck because we could, and that is this, Andre. What is this? This is the 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. 
And why should we throw this into the mix? Well, because the same price. It's basically in the same segment with that ZR2 and the F-150 Tremor. This price is about $74,739. So yeah. about the same as the ZR2. Now this has an interesting powertrain, right? Instead of having diesel, instead of having just a straight internal combustion engine, this is a hybrid. Or a V8, this is a twin turbo a V6. I, I don't know, let, let's take a quick gander because Ford started this twin turbo V6 game in 2011, long time ago with their EcoBoost engines. And now Toyota is also back here with the twin turbo. This is a 3.4 liter and it's made it to an electric motor. So it's a hybrid and it's got pretty, pretty massive power numbers, lots of torque over what, 583 pound feet of torque, which is kind of mind boggling as far as torque is concerned. Yeah, how much does it tow? What does that translate to towing? Uh, it's about the same. So okay. they're all about just over uh, 8,000 pounds. But let's look at the off-road bits, right? Yeah, so let's start with the tires. That's the one thing I'm not like in love with. It, this truck looks yeah. really under-tired, right? Just yeah, so this is that, not enough tire. So this is not a good year. Uh, this is the Falcon Wild Peak AT All-Terrain, and the size is 285-65 R18. So kind of smallish tire, similar to the Chevy, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, definitely could use a bigger tire. In my yeah, opinion. but it's got special Fox, you can see right there. Special shocks, you can see right there, TRD. Yeah, fo Fox Pro, shocks. And they're Fox shocks. So I said, it's got special Fox. Well, Foxy, <laughs> it's really Foxy. It also uh, uh, has something that's, you know, not groundbreaking, because Ford was the first one to hybridize, right? But under there, is where the battery lives. Yep. And so, so range, well, this is not a super efficient vehicle, right? It's more for power. Yeah, you would think a hybrid would be very, very efficient, but actually it's, like you said, it's more for power. It's got a rear locking differential. Of course, it's got now a composite bed that you can kind of make a little bit more grippy. Um, you know, Toyota has gone, and so has Honda, right? With these composite beds, much more so than, uh, the, the American manufacturers, yeah, those, yeah. They're still doing the spraying. What do you think of that? Do you like the composites or do you like the sprains better? Well, I, I actually like this grippiness because usually when you have a composite, it's kind of plastic yep. and it's very slippery. So I love it. But, dude, I, how would you rank these three? So Chevy, Ford. I would actually put Ford near the top of my list, then ZR2 Chevy, and then I would put this, actually. Yeah, because, well, one of the things I'm not in love with is, for instance, you don't have full-time four-wheel drive. you got too high, too low, um, and then four low, but... No, not automatic. <laughs> not automatic, which yeah. means that, let's say you're in a situation where there's some snow on the ground, but some dryness, it's just going to start to crab. And I like when it's automatic and you don't have to think about it. And GM and Ford offer automatic feature, but Toyota did this because of reliability, right? They wanted to build their transfer cases a little bit larger, a little bit more durable. So they're always looking out for that element of it, durability. Um, I'm not saying that Chevy and Ford are not durable. It's just that Toyota is focused on it. And the other thing I don't love is these are like, I know these are seats. like seats. Well, it yeah. keeps beeping, dude. I know. These are, these are, they look good, but you know, we owned um, a Tundra and I wasn't in love with the yeah. seats. Yeah, uh, you know, the new Tacoma is better. Yeah, it is better actually. And I did, also didn't love the fact that every time you drove it, you had to log in. I, you know, once you logged in as an owner, but yeah, I don't like logging. Don't make me log into my truck. It's just silly. So anyway, there you have it. Let us know which one is your favorite. Would you pick the GM truck? Would you pick the Ford? Would you do the Toyota? And sorry, we did not show you the Ram because they're not here at the show at all. Wah, wah, wah. Ciao.